Hello friends, in today's question, three blocks A, B and C are lying on the smooth horizontal surface as shown in the figure. A and B have equal mass M while C has a mass capital M. Block A is given an initial velocity V towards B due to which it collides with B perfectly inelastically. The combined mass collide with C also perfectly inelastically. 5 sixth of the initial kinetic energy is lost in the whole process. What is the value of m to small m? So we have three blocks a, b and c and a and b collide first inelastically then the combination of a and b also combined with c inelastically and we have to suppose to find out ratio of m upon m. So we are given that initial speed of block a is v. Initial speed of block A is given as V. Therefore, we can say its kinetic energy, kinetic energy initial will be equal to half m v square. Now, in the first part, there is a collision between A and B. Collision between A and B and which is given as in elastic. So it means we have two blocks block A moving with the velocity V block B whose initial velocity is equal to 0 and after collision inelastically both A plus B will be moving together and let us suppose they move together with the velocity of V1. So this is before collision and this we have after collision. And we say that A and B move together with velocity V1. So we can use conservation of momentum. So we can say conservation of momentum initial momentum total will be called final momentum so initial momentum we have mv plus for b it is 0 and both a and b are moving together so this will be m plus m multiply by v1 From here we can say that our mv is equal to twice mv1 m and m cancels out therefore we can say our v1 is equal to v upon 2 let us call this equation number 1 now we can find out the kinetic energy of A plus B kinetic energy of A 
plus b equal to half m plus m v1 square This we get as half 2m v1 square and we already know relationship between we already know relationship between v and v from equation 1 so you can say using equation 1 using equation 1 we get kinetic energy of a plus b will be equal to half 2m and v1 a is equal to v by 2 whole square and 2 and 2 cancels out so this comes as 1 by 4 mv square so this is kinetic energy of both a plus b let us call this equation number two after that both a plus b now we are going to collide with c you can say collision of a plus b with c And here it, the collision is inelastic. In elastic. So we say that A plus B plus C move together with the velocity. v2 now we can use conservation momentum okay so let us first of all draw the figure so we have a plus b it is moving with the velocity of v1 and we have log c whose velocity is zero and after collision we have a plus b plus c moving with the velocity of v2 so this we have before collision and this we have after collision now we can once again use conservation momentum conservation of momentum initial momentum that is mass is 2m multiplied by v1 a plus b so this is m plus m v1 plus 0 is equal to m plus m plus capital M multiplied by v2 Now we already know the relationship between v1 and v1 and v so here we are going to use equation 1 using equation 1 we get this will be 2m v by 2 is equal to 2m plus capital M multiplied by v2 2 and 2 cancels out so v2 is equal to m upon 2m plus capital M multiplied by v let us call this equation number 2 now we can find out the kinetic energy of the dot c you can say 
kinetic energy of A plus B plus C that is after collision with C this can be written as kinetic energy of A plus B plus C will be equal to half M plus M plus capital M and they are moving with the velocity of V2 square. this comes as half this will be 2m plus capital M v2 square now we already know the relationship between v2 and v that is equation number 2 so we say using equation 2 we get kinetic energy of a plus b plus c is equal to half 2m plus m and this is our mv divided by 2m plus capital M whole square opening the square half 2m plus capital M we have mv m square v square divided by 2m plus capital M whole square and this square cancel out with this so we are left with kinetic energy of a plus b plus c is equal to half m square v square divided by 2m plus capital M now it is given that the amount of energy lost is total energy from the initial value is given as 5 sixth so we can find out energy lost energy lost so we can say kinetic energy lost will be equal to kinetic energy initial minus kinetic energy of final that is after collision of all the three blocks so initial we already know is half mv square minus of all the three is given as half m square v square divided by 2m plus capital M now we are going to use the formula that only 5 sixth of the energy is lost okay. so it is given that but 5 sixth of I think it is initial value yeah initial kinetic energy 5 sixth of initial kinetic energy is lost therefore we can say kinetic energy lost kinetic energy lost will be equal to 5 sixth of initial kinetic energy that is half m v square and this comes as 5.12 mv square so this is our kinetic energy lost now this is also our kinetic energy lost okay let us call this as equation number i think three and this is four so using equation three and four equation 3 and 4 we get 
5 oblique 12 mb square is equal to half mb square minus half m square v square divided by 2m plus capital M. Now this m and this square goes away and square square and square goes away and we can also say this half this two and we are left with six only here so we can say 5.6 is equal to this is only one minus is m upon 2m plus capital m or we can say m 2m plus capital M is equal to 1 minus 5.6 now simply taking the LCM we get this M upon 2M plus capital M is equal to this will be 6 minus 5 upon 6 we are getting 1 upon 6 cross multiply we get 6M sorry small m we get this as 6 m is equal to 2 m plus capital m or we can say 6 m minus 2 m is equal to capital m so subtracting we get 4 m is equal to capital m and we are going to we are supposed to find out ratio of capital M to small m so from here we can say capital M upon small m is equal to 4 so this is the value or this is the required option and we can say option number A is the correct option option A is Correct. So this completes the question. Thank you.